Hello world, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. So far I've been able to share my own experiences with you guys of what it's like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Other times I like to give my two cents as to what's going on with autism in the media. A third new thing that I do now is give tips to individuals with autism and their families and anybody in our community. Um, tips on how to handle individuals on the spectrum and how to handle uh, certain types of issues. Um, other things that I like to do are I like to do what the life and the day of an Aspie, like what I'm doing with my life right now today. Now that's something brand new that I'd like to do because I want you guys to know who I am as a whole person, just not hearing about, oh, well, how I encountered this situation or how I encountered that situation. A uh, final thing that I do is I cover topics that I am passionate about that have absolutely nothing to do with autism whatsoever. And in this blog, I'm going to do a little bit of uh, sharing my experiences and also the life in the day. So today is the last day of my summer vacation. Tomorrow is my first day of fall semester and I will be going back to school right here at Georgia State University and I am right here on campus. And I said in my earlier video that I was going to go to a um, campus block party for students and staff members um, put on by GSU. So nonetheless, I found out I had forgotten my ID at home which uh, gets me into uh, current events on campus uh, designed for students and staff members. So I explained the situation to the volunteers working at the front of the event that I'd forgotten my ID and they were cool with it and let me in because they found out that I uh, knew my number by heart. And one of the things about me is I have an eidetic memory and I know my uh, ID for, uh, by heart and I could just blurt it out to you right now but I'm not going to due to identity purposes. However, I went in and they gave me a free, uh, free meal and a free popsicle and, I went and walked around for a while and all of a sudden there was this officer standing there and I didn't even pay him any mind and next thing you know I started walking and he, he, he stopped me and told me that I yeah, was trespassing and I said, excuse me, I'm a student here. No you're not, you have to leave. And I said, I'm a student here. No you're not. I said, yes I am. No, get out of here. And so I told him that um, I also worked here. Well tell me where you work and I said, I work at the Center for Leadership and Disability. And I, I told them I had forgotten my ID. Well, what's your ID? And I said, I know my number by heart. Give it to me. So I gave him my ID, and he acted like he was going to um, radio somebody in the front so they could look me up. And he didn't even do that. And I told them what had happened, where they let me in. Yeah, who are the people that let you in? I'd like to talk to them. So he acted like he was going to uh, go up there, and I would show him. And rather than do that, he just... Um, saw me going up and then he turned around and left and went to uh, watch the post. So what I did was I just left the situation and I had um, gone to uh, talk to uh, some of the other officers that are on site and I found out that the campus police station was closed today so I had to call the number that was on the door and I dialed the number and I told them what had happened and they uh, sent a sergeant to talk to me. So I calmly told the sergeant that I have high functioning autism so that they'd understand my situation in case I started acting weird or quirky and uh, it sounds like they'd been trained in emergency preparedness. And I uh, told them and that they were able to look me up and tell me, hey, you're more than welcome to go back into the event and stay. So they ended up um, letting me file a police report and letting me back into the party. But that beats about 13 years ago when I got hassled by some police when I was just waiting for the bus. And they started asking me how, how old I was and what my name was. And it escalated to the point where I didn't want to talk to them. So they started following me. And again, this wasn't now. This was back in August of uh, 2002. And back then, I was only 20 years old and I kicked an officer in the shin. So. Uh, you know, it makes a really big difference. Um, I mean, I'm, it's a big difference between somebody who's 20 years old and 33 years old. Uh, so anyway, if you have any questions or comments, I'd be more than happy to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Maya.